Hi Chris here from EDR Modesto. Welcome to today's two minute tip. What I want to demonstrate today is how you can uh, fix the position of a component after an initial load step to be used as a constraint in a subsequent load step. So if you look at this component, we have the screen here, it's a rubber component and it's an axisymmetric model. So let's imagine we want to apply a force to this face here. Uh, we want to compress it radially in the first load, axially in the first load step, and then apply a pressure to this domed region in the second load step. We need to fix it in space after the first load step. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to create a name selection of this end. So we create name selection, I'll call it fix end. And we can see we've got a name selection in the tree here. Let's just put a mesh on this model. I'm just going to put a one millimeter mesh on here. So we'll generate a mesh. And then I'm going to set up my analysis settings. So if I go down to analysis settings, it's a two step analysis. We're applying the axial force in the first step, and then we're going to apply the pressure. Uh, it's also a large deflection analysis, so this needs to be switched to on. And now we can start applying our boundary conditions. So first of all, I'm going to just put in some supports. So I'll select frictionless support. I'll select this edge here to restrain the axial compression. And then I'll select these two edges to restrain the radial deformation. And now we can start adding our force. So first of all, I'm going to insert a force. And because it's a two-step analysis, we can insert the force by, by load step. So I'm going to put two newtons in the first load step and I'm going to select this end to attach it to and I'm going to just use this edge down here to define the direction. So now I've got a, an axial compression load applying in the first load step of two newtons and I'm just going to deactivate it in the second load step. So it only applies in the first load step. Let's insert our pressure. So I'll select pressure I'll scope it to this upper domed surface and I'm going to put a value down here in the second load step of 1 kilopascal. So those are our two load steps. We're applying a force axle and then, and then the pressure. However, we need to fix the deformation after the first load step. So how do we do that? Well, we can make use of a command object. We make use of uh, a bit of functionality that applies to the displacement control in ANSYS APDL. What do I mean by that? If we go to the documentation for the D command, the D command is how you fix degrees of freedom at, at the ANSYS solver level. And if we go down here, you can see there's a reserve name called fix. It, it's basically used to fix the prescribed degree of freedom in the current relative position. So we can make use of this in this command object. So in the command object, the first thing I'm going to do in here is type the command to select all the nodes that are on that end face. Um, so CM select S fix end will select all the nodes that are uh, attached to that name selection we created. Then I want to fix those, all those nodes in all degrees of freedom in the current position. So I use this reserved name that we just looked at in the documentation, fix. And then I just need to select everything again after. So this command snippet, just to reiterate, select all the nodes on that fixed end, uh, apply a fix at their current position, and then reselect everything. And we want this to apply only in the second load step. So I'll just do by numbers and select a second load step. Okay, now we're ready to go. This should apply the force, fix it in position, then apply the pressure. I'll insert a deformation and let's click solve. So the model's now solving. Let's just have a look at that progress. It should solve pretty quickly. And there we go, we've got some results. And this is the deformed shape at the end of the second load step. Let's switch on undi un uh, the undeformed wireframe and let's animate the results over the two load steps. Do it slowly over four seconds and let's see what's happening. So we can see the compression from the force. We can see it's fixed 
and then the pressure on the dome is applied. So that's how you constrain a model using fix at some point during the multi-step analysis. Thank you for attending today's two minute tip.